Today let's see a small hack to get a better result with warp stabilization in Premiere Pro. Warp stabilization did improve a lot over the years. It's getting better and better, but still sometimes it doesn't get the results that I wish I could. Could, and I'm gonna show you a small trick that I use to get a decent result. I have this, here this clip of this castle and let's see the original clip. Now you can see that the camera is bouncing around a little bit because it was in the boat. Also there is the movement of the water here and of course if we go back you can see the parallax of the clouds and everything behind. Adobe Premiere it's quite smart and did apply uh, stabilize pretty damn good but as you can see the image it's way zoomed in so as you can see it's 122.6 percent zoom in it's not ideal also one thing that i'm noticing just to have an idea i'm gonna activate the comparison view as you can see side by side that beyond the crop the castle it's a little bit shrink so this one it's a little bit higher and here it's a little bit shrink so it deforms a little bit as well the image not acceptable okay in the beginning of the warp stabilization it would uh, make a, some kind of weird jello effect but now it's well done but still it's not great my personal technique they're gonna show you today the results as you can see if i click here the auto scale it's only 101.1 percent to stabilize this footage and as you can see it's pretty damn well stabilized okay now adobe gives us another solution to fix this uh, to stabilize this pretty damn well it's right click replace with a after effects composition uh, save the, ex the, the new After Effects composition, go to Effects, open Warp Stabilization, apply it, let it analyze, go to Advanced, Show, Tracking Points, select them and then delete them, move in time, select them, then delete and move a little bit in time, select them, move in delete, move in time and select. And now I realize that I did not select the cloud, so I have to restart again and this is stupid so if you guys are wondering this clip was given by international film a production that i work a lot with them and it's uh, an episode called obt of the pin track portugal north so the documentary is available at vimeo on demand and the cool stuff is that international film is giving us 20 percent off with a promo code miguel so this is a non-sponsored video. I have no kickbacks from this, okay? Well then, my favorite episodes are Portugal North, South and Netherlands. And yeah, I am a bit biased because I was the DP and editor of this three. So guys, links in the description and let's continue with this tutorial. Back in Premiere Pro, let me just show you what I do, okay? Let's select the original file. I'm gonna duplicate it as so. And here we have it. And I'm gonna right click on it and nest. Let's call nested warp. Now I'm gonna get in, in here on this nested sequence selected and let's apply the crop, okay? you can do a, a double, double click on the effects and it will automatically apply to the selected clips and now with the crop selected i gonna just crop everything that will deduce premiere pro into error and let's do it like so and as you can see there isn't a lot of information but good information to premiere pro stabilize this footage so let's go back to the main timeline here we are, and let's apply the warp stabilization on it. Up. And let's let it run. While it's analyzing in the background, you can keep going editing your work. Now, the main problem is that maybe you're gonna forget to remove the crop here. What I usually do, I just double press really quick with a clip selected, a really quick in the M two times. And I'm gonna select a red marker 
and now yeah if you press m it's gonna add a marker if you press really fast two times m it will uh, open the settings of the marker and let's say remove crop because i want to remove the crop eventually okay now when i when i'm finished with the editing i go back like let's go home and i just press shift m it will jump between the markers uh, as you can see here and i see that there is some crop to remove here now that you have a marker you can keep going editing because premiere pro it's built to continue to analyze and you continue work so let's let the analyze in the background run and we will come back in a second now that it's done analyzing let's see the result of the stabilization if i press play it looks really smooth really well done let me just stop there and let's open this nested timeline go here select the crop and i usually just deactivate it because i want to have a reference of what i did analyze just in case and let's double click on the marker and remove it and let's go back to the main timeline and check it out how beautiful and smooth this image is so there we go nesting solves a lot of hassle okay and this image is way better than it was before now if you are curious and you want to check out the OBT of the Python track, please remember the link is on the, no, it's down there and no, it's on the description. And don't forget the promo code to get 20% off. And there you go. So drop a like if you learned something, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel, until next time, see ya. So if you guys are wondering, well, the image, it's moving a lot and you still have a sharp image, especially if you think that I am using a 50th of shutter speed and I did. The trick is quite simple, use optical stabilization. It's very important to have that IS uh, 